didn't film the old kitchen because I forgot, but it was such a horrific looking thing, I don't really think it matters. But this is my kitchen now. It's Mommy, just there. Go on then, you go toilet. And yeah, we're getting new, new units put in. The kitchen is being delivered tomorrow. This is a temporary sink. It's so attractive, yes. Um, and then we're having like a part there and then all the way along here, the sink's gonna stay there, well, roughly. All along here, the oven's actually gonna go sort of there. So that should be right at the side and around here. And then the fridge freezer will go kind of at that block there. And then it's all getting done white. Um, we we'll do the back wall, we're gonna wallpaper that, but um, that might not be for a few weeks, but everything's gonna be painted white, everything's gonna be white. <laughs> and we're keeping the floor, which is, you can see under there, but at the minute, just to protect it, we've got the hardwood. So yeah, I'll update you when the new kitchen is in. Uh, Edith is modeling the new kitchen. Now, obviously, if we pooped out 50 pound notes, this is not the kitchen we would have purchased, but we don't. Edith's quite happy. I wanted a light color because, Mommy. In comparison, yeah, why would you go outside? Dark. In comparison to our old kitchen, dark. this um, is a really quite dark room. So I thought white was probably a good idea. Cannot get, wait to get rid of that delightful piece. The rest of it here, I don't know where the worktop is. I'm assuming they're bringing that tomorrow, but unfortunately they have to finish someone else's kitchen today. So, they're not coming in to do hours as of yet. I'm not exactly sure what is where, but I know those those are the floor units. And I think these are the wall units. Well, bar that one, that one's going to be a floor unit, I'd imagine. So, yeah, I don't know. We shall see. Starting again before Edith opens the door. The fridge freezer is going to go there, so excuse the skanky floor. And obviously, above there, all this is going to be tiled tomorrow, and that's the last thing. To get done they should be here tomorrow so it's being tiled but i don't know where i'm gonna put food and cups and everything i now get to go and play um oven a little bit there for anyone that thinks it's weird english people frequently have their washing machine and tumble drying that in their kitchen it's what's normal for us i know you americans find that weird um but yeah that is very very standard in england unless you have a utility room which is, tends to be the bigger houses which we don't have um some more units across there. It's just trying to figure out what to put where. I'm just, I'm just gonna explode with excitement. And then Alice, and then the tumble dryer will go in that gap there. And that's gonna have like pet food and stuff in. For now, Alice is just gonna hide in there because she's weird. Don't touch the wall because they're still wet. And then yeah, we're probably gonna get new table and chairs eventually because that wood doesn't match the work surfaces. So they have to go. I'm thinking of getting bright red chairs. I wanted the yellow chairs, which is similar color to the yellow she's wearing. But the wallpaper I've got to go on that back wall has got a muted yellow. So the bright yellow chairs I fell in love with probably won't go, but I'm waiting for the paper to come through before I make a decision. That'll do for now. I've got a tablecloth, so I throw a tablecloth on it's black and yes. that helps. I was gonna run around and like throw the laundry somewhere and empty the draining board. And then I thought, what is the point? Because let's be honest, we all know the realities of kitchen. There's always going to be in my house at some point, laundry somewhere in this room and there's always going to be washing up of some kind so i was like well why am i going to pretend like my house is perfect all the time because it's not i have kids it's pretty much always got something somewhere so here it is we've got the wall cover uh, got all the bits around there the toaster and apparently an empty punnet that had nectarines in fridge the iron board's hiding out in that little gap um that's the dining area the table i've reduced the size of it because it does expand quite a lot but it works for us for now. I don't know what we're doing with the notice board. I don't know, I think the pinks are gonna clash, so we might end up moving that to my bedroom or something, we don't know, but that's just got a few letters and things on. And then these are the last few bits. We've got the books, we don't know where that's gonna go. The picture that was above our cooker, which is the wedding pictures. Um, spices and stuff. I don't know where they're gonna go. I may end up putting them in the cupboard with the rest, because that's obviously only a selection of what we've got. The rest of them are in a box in the cupboard or basket in the cupboard. And this is the wallpaper, which a lot of people are gonna, sorry, wait a minute, what? Why are you putting Mickey Mouse wallpaper, comic strip type in your kitchen? Well, because our house is for our kids at the minute. Um, when the children have grown up, Dara and I are on our own, we can decorate the house however we want for us. But for now, 
it's about the kids and they wanted like a Disney kitchen. So a Disney kitchen is what we'll have. Probably have a splash colour, probably gonna have some like red floating shelves on there. And then maybe have like some uh, like Disney sort of pepper shakers and some pictures of our holiday when we went to Disneyland. And then fingers crossed if we ever make it to Walt Disney World, add those up there as well. So that wall will be kind of busy. And then that wall will have the wallpaper on and the rest of the kitchen of oh, this area is going to be a little bit calmer. But I'm probably going to get a big chalkboard and put it up here to sort of tie in the fact that the oven and the floor is dark um, with sort of a retro frame. I don't know. I haven't decided yet, but up there that you can like take off the wall or put a shelf up there and put one of those leaning slates so you can write down the dinners for the week. But again, I haven't decided if it's just going to ruin it because right now, now it's done, these ideas were in my head before the kitchen was finished. And then you see it looking like this and it looks all clean and nice and I just don't want to put a shelf up and ruin it and I don't want to put the wallpaper up and ruin it and I'm just, I like it like this. <laughs> Which I know isn't everyone's taste, some people are probably gagging quietly at the choices. We made, you like it, do you? Oh, sorry, Molly, so distracted. Is it good? Yeah. Did you want a Disney kitchen? So we're just back from our holiday. Uh, so yes. Yes, Alice. There's one on the boiler. And then, yeah, the rest of the kitchen, which is now a mess because we've been out in that bag. We're about to go to Eden's birthday party. And yeah, so there's the uh, I don't think wall when it's done.